Hey everybody, how you doing? Hope everything's well. Uh, I just wanted to cover a thing today that's near and dear to my heart, and that is paper minis versus real minis. Real minis. <laughs> Plastic minis. Say like this one here, or uh, a lead mini like this guy here, versus uh, paper minis. Uh, like this one here. This is one of my made. Anyway, so I like to make battle maps. This is a battle map I made. And I just wanted to show you how I like to sort of incorporate both minis and paper minis. And the reason I like to use paper minis is because they're really, really uh, easy, quick, and light to, to carry around with you. Uh, you can uh, carry so many with you. If you have to go to other game, you know, areas to game, like I've got this case. This is just one. I've got I've got a whole pile of these cases. And so it's they're very easy to bring around with you if you play on on uh, a real tabletop like uh, like I like to do. So this is one of my maps that I I made uh, a while ago. What was that 2019? And this is like typical of what I use in a game. And uh there are uh, all you know. You can use you can use regular minis if you want on it, and uh, and that's not a problem. They look great. Here's this is actually this is actually this is kind of fun. This is this is the first D and D mini I ever actually bought. <laughs> it's the original paint too. Yeah, he's very old. Anyway, you can uh, you know you can use the minis on the map just fine, and they look great. But I think like how I how I play, I just like minis. These are some uh, Pathfinder minis, for example. I just like minis because they give you a good paper minis. They give you a good sense of where things are. You can easily identify who's who on the map. And like I say, they're incredibly easy to carry. And I don't have to spend time painting them because I know lots of people love painting minis and more power to you. But I have a full-time job. I like to use these vogs. I'm working on a new coloring book right now. I've just got so many things on the go that I don't have time to actually uh, paint minis. I used to paint minis, as you can tell. This was an update to my original guy, and uh, I painted all of these. So I do paint minis when I when I have time, but I just it's very hard for me to find time. So this is this is one of the reasons that I love using paper minis, and there are so many. You can you can find people that make awesome excellent paper minis on like patreon you can find uh of course there's uh there's like pathfinder minis and you can there's the old first edition ones if you can still find them and then there's the second edition ones all kinds of neat monsters i haven't even opened these ones i've got so many paper minis it's it's insane and then even other brands like uh creature codex here I've got these. I've opened up a different box, but uh, but I still haven't gotten into these ones yet. The thing, uh, the couple, a couple sort of tips that I found about paper minis is when you print them out yourself, say on, like I made this one. Uh, I drew it up for Patreon, and then I I uh, I printed it out on bristle board. And if I use the Pathfinder base, it works okay, but I find they f they fall off kind of easy. So what I did was I used, uh, I found these disposable hero ones. They're amazing if you can still get them. And, uh, and these do not come off easy at all. But they're kind of, they're, they're so good they're hard to put on. So I'll show you what you mean. What, what I do is I hold them in my finger like that, one on each side, and then I push really hard there, and it opens it up. And it's easy to put on. Right? So like that. And then you push really hard. Not on the cardboard, but on the inside there to open it up. And then they're a little bit tough at first to get open. But then they, uh, they're they easier. They get easier later on as they wear in. So then when I'm using a battle map, guys can move around, whatever, you know, as I need. And then... The other thing that I can do too is I can use 
uh, minis for statues. And they look great with paper minis, I find, I think. <laughs> because I have a lot of unpainted minis. I mean, who doesn't, right? Am I right? You know, I mean, and I, and I think they look better than if you put a painted mini there, right? So, and then here's another battle map that I did for Patreon. And uh, don't go to my Patreon. I'm not doing my Patreon right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not offering it. You know, actually, you can go there. You can still get stuff like this, though, if you sign up, I think. I think it's all still available. I'm concentrating on other stuff right now. And I'll concentrate on these again once I get my new coloring book done and my rule sets done and all like that. But anyway, so this is a door. And... Uh, it's a really neat door mini. I didn't bother painting it. And the reason I didn't paint it is that really when you're using paper minis, right? Another one I did. <laughs> uh, when you're doing paper minis, I think that they stand out more if they're unpainted, which is handy because then I don't have to paint as much. So then I can put a statue there. And instantly my players know, oh, that's a statue, right? And so they can start, mo you know, they can start moving around the board, fighting people, doing whatever they're going to do right again there's nothing absolutely nothing wrong with regular minis and i love them i just wish i had time and i don't so and also what i love is that i can literally carry many thousands of these with me and uh and uh, uh it doesn't take up anywhere near the uh the space that uh that regular minis do for me and the other thing I like too is that like when I when I make my own like I did with this one or when I've purchased uh, some uh, ones off of say like Patreon or something uh, and I print them up myself, I can print as many as I want. So if I only want one of this guy, it's no problem. I've got one. But if I want a hundred of them, it's no problem. I just print them up. They're ready to go in a few minutes. Just cut them out and off I go, right? So... This is why I absolutely love paper minis, and uh, and I've gotten great use out of them. The other thing about the statues that I like is that I can put anything in as a statue. <laughs> can you see him? <laughs> right. So if I want to, I can have Hammerhead from Star Wars as a as a uh, statue. Right? I can put this guy in as a statue, and I can just change the whole feeling in the scene of the place. I could even have a little guy. You know, a normal. And then there's no mistaking who's who's live on the board, right? And who's moving around. So, yeah. I just thought I'd make this quick uh, quick video about that. And uh, so it's, you know, what, what it comes down to basically is, is papers versus uh, <clears throat> plastic minis. And I absolutely love plastic minis. I mean, I really like painting them. They're fun to paint. Uh... You know when I have the time but I don't have the time so for me paper minis went out and uh, uh, just just because they're so they're so easy to carry they are so easy to make uh, you can just print out hundreds of them you can make them yourself if you want find cool art online if you learn how to use uh, use a little fo a little uh, paint shop program, say like Paint.net or something, which is free, they're easy. You can easily take an image off the internet, cut it out, uh, uh, print it on some cardstock, fold it over, and you've instantly got a mini. That kind of thing. And whereas these minis, I still love them, and now I have an excuse to not paint them. I can leave them unpainted. <laughs> And so I can get 3D printed models, whatever I want. And I do actually look now for minis that'll make really great statues. Uh, in the ancient times, people did paint statues. The statues are all painted, but we've gotten used to seeing them without paint. So now that's sort of what people think statues must have looked like back then. They didn't actually. A statue more accurately look would look all painted up like that and ornate and whatever. Uh, but all the paint's worn off over time, so... You know, what do you do about that, right? <laughs> People just got used to seeing it. I'm used to seeing it. I, I instantly identify that as a statue. Uh, you know, knowing knowing that that's, you know, 
well, this is this is a statue platform that I drew on there for that. Anyway, I'm rambling now, so I'll I'll just cut this video short and just say, for me, paper minis win out, but I do love. I do love plastic minis. I love the metal minis, which this is made out of Peter. And, uh, uh, yeah, but for practical everyday gaming for me on the, on the actual tabletop, I'll use battle maps, paper minis, and then real minis as statues all day. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and a subscribe and all that stuff. And, uh, I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care. Bye.